in on this? I don't ha I got to find an excerpt. This p thing is only like hundred and some odd pages, but you know, when he climbs into her vagina, that's the best part. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh Ooh. man, I got to read that whole thing. That's the one you were telling me about. Yes. Sheila, oh, a plus size oh. prostitute, thinks the stories Angels tells her can't be true. Secrets are so vile, you won't want to let them inside you. Ooh. <laughs> Like in the ear hole. <laughs> let me let me put no, it in your ear hole. For a big fat woman <laughs> that you can climb up into her vagina and be reborn. Fuck yeah, right, let's you go. Got to go down. You got to go down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I never said I was right in the head. Okay, that's why you're here. So, right? um, <laughs> are you? So, I guess you're gonna have to like find something, and then you're gonna have to set it up a little bit. Like, is it from All his right, perspective, on. her perspective? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> you, you're shocked. You open and you're like, oh my god! <laughs> the, the is that good? <laughs> widened with fresh agony as Angel's head spilled out of her, thudly dulling on the carpet. Wow. I'm going to see Rachel on Saturday. Do you want me to give her this so you can... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, for your oddities thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can weed it. And we have it to go to the womb. one... Weed. I... Womb. <laughs> <laughs> womb. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wait, uh, who did you say the author's name? Let's let's respect the art. Respect the artist. The artist is Duncan Ralston. So that's the person that's real sick in the head that wrote this fine book. Yeah. <laughs> that's because this is a grim, gritty, and nasty stuff, but it's done with wit and literary flair. Nice. There you go. It has good grammar. Yeah. <laughs> literary flair. Yes. <laughs> Great yeah. use of grandma. Yeah, I find these disgusting books on TikTok. There's like a couple people on there that are like books that you can't get past page blah 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 on. And well, I that I one certainly. One I read this in one sitting. I was like, I think I know where this is going, but I. Up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now is he supposed to be a very very little man? The no, hold on. I just hold on. Is he a a full size man? Because he's a full size dude, yes. And how he's is just he gonna just because someone's fat doesn't mean they got more real estate in there. Like I'm just, I mean, men are stupid. No, <laughs> no offense. Sorry, not sorry. Hold on. Like he's already in this chick and he's trying to climb out. So I want to hear about him okay. getting it in what? Yeah, I want to hear about the whole in I want details. <laughs> can you can we just start read, can you read the whole thing by 1 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, I could probably read it in an hour. It's only just, like 140 pages. No, I mean you got to read it to us. We're just going to be like oh. <laughs> And yeah, then on. what? Taking off the bubble bath. What did he do when he got in okay. there? Did he redecorate? He, roll, he rolled her onto her back and spread her legs and raised her dress. Her eyes fluttered behind the lids. Angel crossed to the dresser and took off his clothes, folding them in front of the mirror. He pumped out a handful of slip and slide and slathered it onto his scalp and over his face until his whole head gleamed under the overhead lights. He pumped, he pumped out a second handful, squishing it between his fingers where it dripped onto the vermilion carpet. Leaving wet stains. Oh, that's that a literary like flair. <laughs> there you go. Turned there to where Shayla lay, he found her snoring lightly, as if she just lay down for a nap. He knelt. Did he drug her? her? Wait, hold on. I need to. He... had sharpened her sweat, giving it a sour <laughs> tang. He raised her left leg and pushing it aside to make room for his shoulder. Good lord. The hair moistened her vagina. <laughs> And in her thighs, he laid back between her legs, facing upward. Okay. And you could, like, pull yourself in. As if you were have the to upper body strength. And rubbed the top of his smooth, wet head against her labia majora. The way Juicy <laughs> there you go. rubbed Literary his top flare. up and down on Candy Rain's asshole. Then Literary he began to push. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I think I, I found right. it. Yeah, I think I have it. 
don't know why my dogs <laughs> want to hear. I guess my dogs want to hear about the book. They're, they're like, and then what here. happened? And then what <laughs> happened? <laughs> So he gets he he. I mean, no, I don't want spoilers, but he gets all the way in there. Like, well, let's see. Get, oh, he could leave his feet out, and then she could squat, and he could walk for her. Yeah, well, he that would be she, cool as a bitch, right? He, he pushed, and Shyla's lips parted, and he felt her warmth swallow the top of his head, like how he felt the cool air on his scalp when he finally pushed free of the rug their makeshift womb in the back of their van, and he pushed again, hearing her flesh tear. He was up to his eyebrows now, and even more determined to continue. This was the farthest he'd ever come. The other woman hadn't even been able to take the narrow half of the dildo, and the ones who had, but wait, and the ones who <laughs> had bored of his stories and left without his money. Shyla and her perfectly flawed vagina were a godsend. She was damaged like him, and they were pieces of a larger cosmic puzzle. It's all about him trying to find somebody who can crawl up in her vagina and be rebirthed. It's pretty gross. Wow. <laughs> that, that is a, the, the that's a king. His ears folded over, and with another push, her vaginal opening forced <laughs> his eyes closed, and he was enveloped in warm, wet darkness. His nose would be the true test. He wormed his shoulders closer to her edging toward her on the carpet, glad that he thought to make room by pushing up her legs. He performed a few preparatory breaths and sucked <laughs> in a huge lung full of air, hoping the next push would be the last. His thrust, oh, he thrust his whole weight towards her. The bridge of his nose cracked, shooting splintering pain directly into his eyeballs. The pain didn't trouble him. He'd been through much more agony in one breath than most people would feel in their entire lifetimes. Tasting Dang. blood, his own or hers, he had no idea. Angel pus pu pussed. Angel pushed puss. her last time, and her pussy devoured his mouth, and his chin slipped instead of inside of her throbbing organ. Throbbing yeah. organ. There we oh, go. There's that Harlequin romance. Yes. Flesh covered every inch of his head, pulled taut over his face like hot, wet baklava. Nice. Her heart There's that in his ears. Her stomach juices gurgled like thunder in the darkness, and her insides shut out the chatter, the anger, the fear, the self doubt. Her womb smothered his pain. Wow. wow. And it goes on and on. And I have another book I haven't read yet, but I forgot what it's about. Hold on. I don't know if you could top that. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, that, that, that's. Uh... I read about it from the same. Uh, uh, the same lady that reviews. I gotta get stories. on. I gotta get on to this lady. I need to hear about these oh, sick well, books. This one is called Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison. That's my life story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says a young hospital security guard with a disturbingly unique taste in women, a maternity doctor with a horrifically unusual appetite. When the two of them meet, they embark on a journey of self discovery while shattering social norms and engaging in. Destruct. Oh, okay. I did read this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. Oh wait, so, is the doctor a woman? Well, she's. Uh, well, they both like fucking dead people. That's what this one's about. <laughs> All right. Necrophilia. Necromania. <laughs> one's a security guard, I think, and then the other, and then the doctor, I think, is the. Uh, like a funeral, the the embalmer, and she she likes to fuck her things, and but I think the security guard caught her. He was like, "Hey, oh. baby." So then there's a scene where they go and get coffee, and they're like, "So, uh, you like the dead things?" Yeah. And then they were like, "Do you like do you like the maggot stage, or do you like the second maggot stage?" <laughs> Or do you like which, when you... which larval stage do you enjoy I like more? Like <laughs> <laughs> <Ew. laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that brings us to our first topic, which is gross movies. Because yes. I mean, some movies come from gross books. I think that they should make Womb into a movie. Yeah, I, I want to see it. I'm trying yeah. in my yeah. head to it's a to... womb with a view. <laughs> what, what, what's I'm he just, do when he's in there and everything's squished shut he just wants to get out because he can't breathe he, he didn't think that through did he um well he didn't no. he climbed back out oh no he's breach 
He's <laughs> he, he tried turning his head, hoping it would dislodge him, hoping he could pry himself from his sticky, smothering tomb. So wait, does he just want to visit it periodically? Like he just he wants just a room wanted to he go can in there. visit? I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a while since I, I've read it. I just know that. Well, I guess everyone has to read it to find out what his motives are. Here's the end end paragraph. A small sound escaped his lips and she shushed him, patting his back as she rocked him gently in her arms. She had a baby. Happily ever after. Yes, and they lived happily ever after. So, um, who wants to start? Because I I have a a gross-out movie, but it's... Yours is the best one. I can't. I haven't seen the other ones, which the I will two now. And three. No, the I've two seen. And three. I've seen. No, I've seen those. But I mean, okay. uh, Lori's. She's fancy. She's like got a French one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got I a fine French one. I haven't yeah. seen those, so I'm gonna have to watch those. Um, but yeah. all right. Well. We'll save uh, Demonatrix. We'll save yours for last because yours is, I think, it's number one because holy <laughs> shit. I actually yeah. looked up, I looked up lists, right? Because I'm like, maybe uh, I just need to like refresh my memory and I'll be like, oh yeah, that movie. So I have one, but I can't, nothing, every time I try to think of what's, what's a gross movie, I just think of yours. So we'll, <laughs> so Lori can go, then I'll say my okay. little thing and then you can just, you know, say what we all know okay. and maybe throw it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Calvaire is a French film. It came out like, uh, I think 2006 and it's by, fuck, I, I'm, I'm going to tear his name to shit. It's Fabrizi Do Well, something like that. Anyway, it's about this guy. He's like a cabaret singer. He's traveling and he takes like the, you know, obviously they're in France. So he's like mountains and shit. And it's like a little like village. His car breaks down and he stumbles upon this small little village. Well, I'm not going to spoil it a lot, but basically, essentially, it's a family that lives there and it's a husband and his wife left him and he like went crazy and in the midst of this his children and himself um they all f- the animals all their farm animals and dude man happens to just be exploring like this small little village because he's like waiting on his car to get fixed and he's kind of like in bum fuck so it's like gonna be a minute and he comes upon the sons i think it's a goat or a sheep and then they're like into just like you know, fucking animals, and then they torture the shit out of this man, but he ends up living, and ends up torturing them, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. What what station is this on, Lori? Shudder. It's on Shudder. Shudder. And I do believe, I do believe, it might be on Netflix now. I think, I want to say I've seen it, but I know it's on Shudder for sure. Okay. Yep. Right. Excuse me while I run around and do shit while I'm listening to you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to find my weed pen. <laughs> I, I can't find anything anymore. It's in your weed drawer, silly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the ones in my it's pens in my weed drawer are the empty ones. What the fuck did I do with it? Okay. Is it in your boobs? I lose things in my boobs. No, I always check there just in case. In case <laughs> oh, I'm trying to in. organize. My way of like putting shit away here is like getting everything out of one room and then cleaning that room and but then moving everything out of that room into a different room. So, Lord have mercy, I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> I need <laughs> kinds of help too, but. <sighs> so, okay, so we have that one. And you said you had another one too, right? Um, I mean, do we have to do we have to look that up still? What Cal- you... Calvair one? No, not Calvin. No. no, there is another um movie. Did you say it was Mexican? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Um, do you remember what it's Mexican? called though? I do not remember, but this is all I can tell you. It's okay. very short. It's like maybe 10, 11 minutes long. And what it is, it's it's it's, it's a guy. And he works for like the a gang. Like I don't know what kind of gang they are. And he apparently betrayed them. 
he betrayed them. And when they call him in to come up to like, you know, the main house, um, they're questioning him. You know, he's like all sweating and freaking out. And I think his girl or his wife or somebody is there and they're making her watch. And it's a it's a it's a thing that they use in in this like religion, um, not religion, but like culture. Um, it's called healing. And what they do is they take like big railroad nails, and they it's a it's a form of like punishment and torture. And they take them and they put the the railroad nails through your heel, and they make you walk on it until it goes completely through your whole oh entire bottom of your foot. I'd rather so, have a guy so, climb in my vagina than do that. Yeah. That, and this thing right here, I'm telling you. And so they make him walk. And he's like, obviously, you know, screaming in pain. And they make him walk until those nails go completely through the bottom of his feet. Oh Trying oh to watch that and having the phobia that I have about people getting their feet, like, cut Achilles tendon shit like Ooh. that cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of it. I watched it when I first came home from prison with my ex Mac because he has streamed it from um uh fuck I can't think of the name of that fucking thing. Um I'll think of it in a minute. But he had streamed that and it was another short Mexican film that was about a witch. And I'm gonna yeah, tell I just found that one and I was like maybe it's this one. I'm like nope. Yeah. No one is sta stepping on nails through their foot. <laughs> yes. And I don't know what it was called. It was just like several short films. He had like down, he had streamed and he was like, look, while you were at work, I found some really dope shit that I want you to watch. And the one with the witch freaked me out so bad and gave me such like a dark energy feeling. I, was, I had to walk the fuck out of the house. And that one wow. was only like nine minutes long. But the energy that came up off that shit, I was like, oh, hell no, Matt. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm all ready to know what this, I need to know what this witch one is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying. I'm, I'm going to try to. So it's I think he streamed it from. Is it the Gentleman's Guide to the Midnight Cinema? They're like a Canadian base um, thing. Um, and there's another streaming place you can. Uh, fuck. I cannot think of it. Um, we'll find it. We'll add it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit up my friend in Canada, Will, because I think he'll know him and his wife Teresa, and I'll ask him about that because I don't talk to Matt obviously anymore. He's also still strung out. So, hey, pup. <laughs> He's got yeah, that shit was crazy. That he oh. Mm. Ooh, that was crazy. So, okay, so this makes me realize that there's like a whole untapped genre out there for me because I looked up like Mexican horror and there's mm -hmm. so much and I'm like, whoa, this looks so good. There's so much. Uh, okay, well, now I got a bunch of weird shit to watch. Yeah, so and there's, awesome. a, there's a bunch Japanese of good, horror what too. look like good horror movies on, um, <laughs> I believe it's Netflix or HBO right now, but I've just been too lazy to read. So yeah, I got they, for when I'm in the mood to, to like read the the subtitles. Um, yeah. Netflix for a while at least had a lot of really good like Korean horror, and I was like, these Koreans are killing it, man, because it's just freaky as hell. Yeah, oh. Japanese is great too. Hey, yeah, I was just gonna say, course, Lori, have you seen since you like the Japanese horror? Have you seen um, a movie called Audition? Yes. Oh, yeah. Isn't that okay. amazing? I it's, love um, that. Um, ta 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 uh, Mike Takashi or Mike ta Takashi Mike or something is his name. Yes. I don't know, but when she like yes. gets him in her house. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And well, the if you does like that him, one. Yeah. Audition is awesome. Tetsuo the Iron Man. I told um Emma about, I mean, uh, uh Emma about that. And then um what's the other one um uh shit i can't think of it it's the parasite that one oh not parasite i forgot about that one. Oh shit <laughs> about parasite <laughs> um ichi the killer ichi the killer there you go y'all want to watch some fucking torture and gore there you go 
my mom sat and watched that movie with me and she was just like oh my god Lori!" and i was like i cannot believe you're sitting here watching this shit with me right now yeah i forgot about audition holy shit i was like obsessed with that for like I think when that, i first that came was, home i think it was because that was like one of my first um japanese movies that i mm -hmm. ever watched that was mm -hmm. the actual original japanese version and not the redone american version of it like um the yeah Grudge. yeah um and then I had to watch The Grudge, of course, in the Japanese version. And, um, but yeah, but there's so, th th it's just such a fucking weirdo movie. It is. It's so good. <laughs> it is. It's how Ichi the Killer is. It's All just right. like, it's nonstop, like constant torture in that. I was like, I mom, I can't even believe I'm even letting you watch this with me right now. <laughs> there's, a, there's another show. I can't remember what, chant, what network it's on. Uh, maybe Netflix. It's called, um, I'm, and I might have been wrong, but you guys might have seen it. I want to say, I thought it was the ABCs of death, and there are all these little short. Yeah, like, yes. yes. Some are in English, most yep. aren't. Yeah. And there was like one, if I can remember, this one was like a Japanese game show. Do you guys remember that one? I I vaguely remember yeah, it. Vaguely. It's been a while since I've yeah, watched. Yeah, that's that. what I'm trying. I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm fucking weird i don't know what the fuck's going on but it's fucking weird yeah yes. that that's a good one too yep. sometimes like i start watching stuff especially if it's like a bunch of stories and then you know like netflix and chill with like the husband happens so <laughs> i miss part of it <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like pause it we'll go back i did that with that what is that um oh my gosh we were talking about it the the movie that's like about like worms or something Squirm? Is that what it is? Where they like infest them and they're squirm. these big gooey blobs? Oh god, that's that one's gross too. It's just it's icky, but <laughs> so uh you mentioned about like the Achilles or like the feet. Yes. That's like a thing of mine. Yeah. That too. I'm like, ah, because I can yeah. feel it. I can feel it. Yep. Like behind my knees, it hurts. Yeah. So I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so like, but it wasn't those scenes aren't enough to like choose those movies as like the grossest mm -hmm. but man when someone's walking barefooted on stairs and you see that nail and it go out uh, ew yes. it's just yes that they show that in that movie um no in what movie in that cavalera movie where they stick their they show oh, it sounds like they show one. worse um okay I gotta look there for that one. Yeah, you need to watch Calvary. It's pretty brutal, dude. The shit they do to him is okay. it's, 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 it's pretty like I'm like God, dude. I just want them to stop. And when he gets <laughs> back, give him a break. Like I just want him to die. So he'll yeah, just there. at least make it stop. However, it has to happen, bro. I'm like the. Ugh. It's like poor Justin Long. Every movie he's in, he he just gets so fucked up so bad. So my two it's gross tough. movies, my two gross movies, star Justin Long. Figures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tusk, but that's oh, all. Yeah. Dude, I, love I love her. that fucking movie. Oh, she just did a thing. <laughs> did you see? Yes, I love that movie. <laughs> okay, so um, I ha chose Tusk mm. and I chose Barbarian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because probably not for what people would think. There's um, a scene where he has to take a, I think it's a baby bottle first. I know from there's- From her? A, That's yes, a gross a, scene for me. Yes, yes, okay. Cause it's like, it, cause it has, it, it has hair on it. Yes. And like- <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because people have a thing with hair and it's really funny. Like I almost made my friend throw up one time because I talked about a pube, like a-, a miscellaneous like erroneous pube that was like on her <laughs> bottle of soda and i was like it was just pube on that and she she literally she sat there dry heaving until she threw up and i was like wow that was amazing like you really <laughs> don't like rogue next pubes time, next time you talk to david ask him about his um burger king hamburger with the pube on it ew all right. I will never eat a Burger King. No, I have to. Ever. He took a picture of it. It was like a kinky curly pew. Oh, my God. In his God. Booger Flame Whopper. I hope that that was really a facial hair. No. Well, I hope it was, it was a really a pew. <laughs> it was a pew. How do you he know? Did it have, still a, has the pictures. No, did it have crabs on it? Had a crabby. 
I think it might have had a little, a little, you know, louse egg attached. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. So yeah, so that was Lori. Did you watch um, Barbarian? Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay. My husband was like, "What that part you're talking about?" He was grossed out. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's gross out for like different reasons. Yes. Also, Tusk too is like gross out for different yep. reasons. It's not super. It's not super in your face. It's stuff where you're just like, "Ew, I never even would have thought of seeing yeah. this, but now that I have, what?" <laughs> and if you but if go you add a hair to it. But going back to Barbarian is the way that it starts out. That is so not what you're even remotely thinking no, about. No, that's you're why. That fucking, you know, Pennywise is a fucking freakazoid serial that killer. That he's a serial killer. Yeah. And it's very, you're like, this is very straightforward. Well, I was so watching like it with not, my. <laughs> what, I watched it and I was like, what? What? But this is not going where I thought it was going to go. Yes, same. And I was my kind of husband, upset when I found husband, out he was a bad guy and then he died. My yep. husband kept saying, they tricked me. They tricked me. He, who was the bad guy? What's happening? I'm like, okay, calm down. Take a breath. Take a, take a. And take the a whole beat. time the bad guy is in the basement. <laughs> right. There's just, there, there yeah. are layers yeah. of bad guy. But, and then you're like, yep. What? And no. it's like the lady, she's not even really the bad guy. No. She is, but so she's, she's not. the victim. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. But then you find out that the bad guy is that. Hold on. You guys all can't be up here together. When you find out that the bad guy, who you never know what his name is, but you're like, that fucker's in everything. He yep. was yeah. he is. a fucking ice king or whatever in Game of Thrones. He's in all of the fucking. Uh, Rob Zombie, he's in so many things and he always plays an asshole and I love him. <laughs> like, we need a creepy asshole who has committed yep. atrocities over decades. You, yep. they call uh, that guy. <laughs> yes, he's just got wrote this for you. Yep. Well, it yep. used to be Michael Berryman, but, um, you know, he died, so they can't use yep. his ugly mug anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those are my two. That's the closest I could come to what you're about to talk about, which on every list I saw, it's number one. And I was like, cause it yeah. fucking is. <laughs> and I, didn't gross... even, I didn't even look at a list. I, I didn't even look at a list, but. I, I had to look at a list because yours was so dead on that I was like, nothing, nothing compares with this. So that's why I was looking. And then I was like, okay, Barbarian had that hair on the, Slimy nipple love. Okay. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's funny that we watch people get hacked up and stuff, and we're yes. like, eh, and we laugh. Oh. It's but, a hair on a dirty bottle. Hair. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> but a hair on a dirty slimy bottle. We're like, uh, uh. yes. Yeah. All right. So reveal. What is number well, one? Dun, dun, dun. I didn't use the list. I just thought, okay, the grossest movie I've ever seen. It's got to be the human centipede, the original human centipede, and not for, you know, the 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 torture scenes or the mutilations or anything like that, but for the poor bastard in the front of the row, feed her, trying desperately not to eat, and finally she sh has to eat, <laughs> and you could just hear his guts churning, no. and you know. Yep. Coming. You just know and they're showing coming. the girl behind him, her yes. eyes wide, like, no! <laughs> and as yeah. soon as his guts start rumbling, I'm like, oh my fucking God, no way. I would just, there's no way. I, some people have a fetish about eating shit. I don't, I don't yeah. get it. I don't I get, get it either. It. I don't get it but either. I thought, well, if you did have to be in that situation, your best bet is either to be the guy in the front who doesn't mm -hmm. have to eat shit, Mm -hmm. Or the girl in the back <laughs> who's gonna fucking die the soonest. Right. Um, but the the ones in the back, they have they don't even stand a chance. I mean, they're not getting any nutritional value. But by, by the time it gets through the second one, any there's Woo. no nutritional value of the Well, that's shit the thing. Left. That's the thing that bothered me about like the the sequels. I'm like, okay, so if one person did this because he's just like mentally deranged. Cause he like he was into it, right? Didn't he make like a a dog centipede? Yeah. <laughs> he made, his three, what did he call it? His three hund 
They were like yeah. Yeah. Dobermans or something. Yeah. Yeah. So he did that and they were like his pride and joy. So then he had to recreate it with people, which is because they died. Yep. Because yeah, but this is what I'm getting at. He's supposed to be like a scientist or something, a scientist or a doctor, right? He's a fucking Frankenstein, is what he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, it seems like he he'd been schooled to some sort of capacity. So like, how does he? If if I'm intelligent enough to realize that each person it goes through, it's gonna lose nutrients. How does he not know that? <laughs> like, he wasn't like. You know what? The second time I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it different because the dog's died. He was just like, nope, like same he exact thinking, way. Yep. You would think he'd have him like every night, at least getting some IV or something or other. But then right. again, he's got shit going from, you never go ass to mouth. And here they are, ass to mouth. <laughs> he, he always goes ass to mouth. Infected and septic going ass to mouth with oh. open fucking facial gaping wounds. Right, because he like I I'm trying to remember he like flays their skin back and like cuts their yeah. jaw yeah. open. So we were yep. talking about this. You okay? If he you're in that situation, you can't. He yes, he out. takes their teeth out. Yep. So if you escape, if they manage to pull apart from each other when he and and like knock him down or something, you can't. What are you gonna do? You're gonna leave your forever chain. You have no jaw, no teeth, no. But they also can't run because doesn't and he, he broke cut, their he knees. Cut something oh. behind their knees. So yes. they were forced to crawl, so they couldn't get up and run away. Yeah. So you're just fucked, no matter what. You okay, but so you're basically gonna you're gonna be kneeling there, praying to die. So I guess being the last girl is probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. You either gotta mm -hmm. be the first one, or you gotta be the last. And then if you're the but then okay, if you're the if you're the last one, and you die quick, you're great. And then you're just dead weight. But the poor bastard in the front, after everybody else is dead. He's, he's just got him attached. Dragon fucking dead weight with him. He's got Off a his ass. literal dead weight. There's so many <laughs> fucked up things about that movie. It's not it just is. having to eat Wait, shit. It's just the, the girl in the middle said, though. Think about somebody actually doing that. It's there's just it's just fucked up all the way around. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember. But I think it's um, the first one that he, there's kind of like oh, you see like a blueprint of like the plans. Yeah. Before, yes. like, and you're like, what the fuck? It's drawn it on like, a dry where... erase board with, like, you know. <laughs> but it shows like how which tendons he has to cut or whatever, so their legs won't straighten anymore. And I was just like, oh my god, this is so messed. <laughs> Who wrote this? I, they need to be arrested. Call the police. Mm -hmm. But when That's you're in his house movie. and you're looking at the walls yeah. of his house. He had some weird, like, twin art going on in there, like some weird yeah. conjoint. So he had some weird issue from the beginning. But where's his twin? I don't remember. Did he say it's that his twin was dead? I don't know. Or I don't... did he eat his twin in the womb? Or... <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking. Him. Maybe that happened. I'm just trying to figure out where that fucking... Fetus and fetu or whatever they call it, where you have, like, a, a ball of, like, that's hair and nails. That's and... a teratoma. It's a teratoma. Oh. Oh, uh, the other one is when it's growing off of somewhere. <laughs> that, that's your appendage. <laughs> I have an appendage. That's your parasitic twin. Yeah, your parasitic yep. twin. Yeah, parasitic twin. Malignant. Mm -hmm. yep. Parasitic. Well, I, mean, I know someone who ate their twin, and uh, they have an extra, like, circulatory system. That is so fucking weird. Wow. Yeah. And then they die and they do an autopsy and they find like teeth in their brains and just weird shit. That's there crazy. Was, I'm trying to remember which book it was because I've read so many Stephen King the novels. The Dark Half. The what? The Dark Half. Yes. Yes. Because he had, and when I was reading that part, because I, I don't know, I was. brains or, yeah, yes. and he found hair and teeth in his hair brain. Hair and teeth. And I was like, wow. Because I was, I don't know, I read Stephen King super young, so my mind was blown all, all the time. I, I, didn't know I was like, that when I first read that, I was like, ew, is that a thing? Well, then I went to the library and looked it up and was reading all about it. And, you know, that's why some people in my family call me the weird one. <laughs> so I don't know why, though. Imagine yeah. a kid being like, "Mom, did you know?" <laughs> like, they don't want to hear me. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the my parasitic twin that is just. 
I think it maybe had an eyeball. I don't remember. I know it had teeth and hair. I know there was teeth and hair. I don't maybe remember it being an eyeball, but I know there was definitely <laughs> teeth because the doctors were like, what the fuck? Yeah, we should have known. Again, here we are where doctors don't know what shit is, and we know what shit yeah. is. Yeah. So I have um, a clip because oh. <laughs> I wanted to talk about um, ghost sex because somebody actually brought it up to me and said, you should talk about ghost sex. They were talking about it on the radio, and I'd honestly never really thought about it. <laughs> Believe I wish it or I not, got Aaron on board with this, but I haven't heard from her. Well, we can we can get her on board later. Let's see if I can share my screen. But I did find something in the in the way back machine. Is it this? I think it's this. Let's see. <laughs> remember, you guys remember Oprah? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oprah from like the eighties. Is this? Do you think it's the eighties? My first guess says that four words written in the carpet and a cloud of black smoke led up to the night whatever was in her house put her in the grips of an intense sexual experience with it. Please meet. <laughs> I'm really a very nice person. Oh, no, I'm not. Nobody's saying you're not nice, Marie. No. Oprah's hair is so big. That was before she got sucked in by the Illuminati. Work one very hot summer day with no air conditioning. I had a window fan in a west window. Mm -hmm. The sunlight was streaming through the window. The, I put the window fan on and sat down in my chair in front of it. And of course, the fan was blowing at me. I lit a cigarette, and suddenly, the smoke from the cigarette traveled to the window fan, began to broil around furiously, and became very dense and very black. Nothing else happened because I glanced down at my carpet, which was um, a plush with no pattern, just just plain, deep-toned carpeting. And suddenly I became aware that there was writing, not well, three or four words, writing all over the rug. And the writing was in um, various forms of script. Some were big black letters, 70s, some were little tiny letters, she... some were cursive writing. And I began to look at those. Wait, who looks 70? And, look. and they, they said terrible things. Mm -hmm. About you? They said terrible <laughs> things about me. They called me a whore. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> a hoo ha. So a hoo ha. <laughs> let's just pause for a second. Would you? Okay. So the reason I picked this one is because um, I tried to think about who has stories like this, and not her is what I have to say about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I, yeah, I don't know what year this is from. I don't think it says. It has to be um, early 80s. Yeah. So that shit had to have happened to her in like the, the 60s or yes. 70s. So yeah, she yeah, must yeah. have been on some gnarly ass psychedelics. But she remembers it, man. She's like, I lit a cigarette. And she had to let everyone know that she had a very nice carpet. <laughs> plush. Plush. A plush. Carpet. It was plush. Well, mm -hmm. let's see Not what true. else she has to say about this experience because I actually didn't watch it till the end. I was like, I'll just save it for later. <laughs> Some names. My father's name was on the rug. There were dates that were meaningful to me. Some of it I couldn't make out. At that point, I got to the telephone and I called a daughter and I said, you have to see what I'm looking at. Uh, they had, they came immediately. I put my little dog outside because I didn't want the, uh, the uh, writing uh, messed up. And uh, they came immediately, and they could make out the words. They could see them, spell them. There were things that looked something like pyramids in some places on, on the carpet. And they said, you got to get out of here, Mom. I said, oh, it's not Marie. going to hurt me. Oh, Marie. Um, things just continued in that fashion. Um, and it didn't hurt her. And she place. still lives there what, to this day. What happened day? with the sexual <laughs> sense experience? I'm getting to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, it, it's hard to get into. I was, I was sleeping That's soundly in my bed one night. Mm -hmm. Suddenly I awakened. Now, let me preface this by saying that I am on hypertensive medication, mm -hmm. which dulls all of your sexual urges. You just could care less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I awakened in the night. And you hadn't had sex. Oprah, stop being so thirsty. I, I swear, you fuck. Mm -hmm. And could care less. Mm -hmm. Thanks go. for the good old medicine. Mm -hmm. Well, I awakened in my bed one night realizing that I was in the midst 
of a very intensive oh, sexual experience. Oh, shit. Yeah, dream I orgasm. Mm -hmm. I, there, there was nothing that I could put my hand on, you know. Just Ghost me. made her squirt. And uh, it lasted a little while. <laughs> How long? That's what she said. Well, it's pretty hard. You know, you don't watch the clock when this is happening. <laughs> Uh, I would say two or three minutes, possibly. Uh -huh. yeah, well, you know, but you know, Marie, people have sexual dreams all the time. There are lots yes. of people who have. Have you all ever had one? Yeah. Yes. I mean, there are people who have in their dreams. I mean, there are people who actually like have orgasms and things in their sleep. I wasn't dreaming. You were not dreaming. You were it just counts. wide away. I was sound asleep and wide away. And wide away. It's never happened to me since. You were terrible uh, leg. leg. You were a horrible um, leg. Things progressed in the house. Things got worse and worse. There were a couple of incidents with the uh, writing on the rug. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. Back to sexual experience. And I'm really not trying to, to really not sure. trying to belabor the point. But when you have an intense sexual experience and you feel that you are having it with something or one or it's not just you, right? That's how you felt. I did not. I did not physically feel another person, mm -hmm. but Present? I was having all of the reactions. As did you feel I, that ghost cock? Is what she's asking. <laughs> no, because she was dreaming. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like she yeah. just basically had like a Her wet dream, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she squirted and it made her delusional and she saw all the writing. <laughs> well, she's on that hypertensive drug. Every night she goes to sleep hoping it'll happen again. She, she does. That's why she came national with it. She's hoping that ghost she's comes hoping and gives it to pound maybe, town. Maybe the ghost is an Oprah Winfrey fan. He'll see it. He or she. We don't even know. How dare I gender this ghost? They. It's an interesting <laughs> yeah. And. But she didn't see anything. No. But she felt that cock, okay. boy. <laughs> yeah. She was Eventually, after more heaven. writing on the basement experiences, mm -hmm. my kids picked me up physically without a word and moved me out. I've been a good way six months now, or six years, and I've not had oh, no okay. problem. <laughs> so it happened once? Yeah. Yes, it and happened every once. Year. And every and day, never. she's been like, she lights that cigarette, and she's like, Please come fuck come me. Fuck me. <laughs> come hither and fuck me. And, and she said her kids had to pick her up and remove her. So that means she she probably stopped eating. She's just laying wherever she was trying to recreate the situation. Sticky. She's <laughs> laying around like this all day. <laughs> <laughs> come on, ghosty ghosty. <laughs> It's a shame that one ever taught her how to just masturbate because she could have just done that every day. They probably <laughs> just... walked in and was like, Mom, let's go. And she's probably like, All right, hold on a second. I'm just waiting for <laughs> and she's, she's yelling out, Just the tip, please. <laughs> she's like, I'll suck your dick next time, I promise. I'll give you a blowjob. I'll take my teeth out. Just tell me where it is. Tell me, Rob. <laughs> Where's the ghost cock? Ghost cock. Well, she couldn't see it. I don't know. I didn't seem like Oprah believed her. I don't know what the impression nah, you guys got. <laughs> Oprah was like, this bitch wild. She but just she remembers better. it. But she remembered every single, like a ritual, every single thing that she did. That's and because she that wrote it down to justify <laughs> her bullshit. <laughs> And she wanted to make sure she had all of the details down to a T so they wouldn't change over the years because she's full of shit. Yep. The plush carpet and the infamous ghost cock <laughs> came and upon me. Said, we don't know how all that writing got on the car. Well, you wrote it, bitch. <laughs> she squirted it. Damn. She squirted she it out. It. <laughs> she squirted that shit out. She has uh, a black female ejaculate. Because <laughs> it's, it's been only so long stimulated. Had a nut. Well, because she made a point also of saying she's on a medication that makes her not horny. All of her, all her everything sus. Everything she said is sus. Yeah, I don't believe a word. I don't believe <laughs> she, anything that lady said. I think she just wanted to meet Okra. Okra? And I think Oprah just wanted. <laughs> she just wanted something. to meet Okra Windbag, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah's like, fuck it. Let's get the goat, the lady that got fucked by the ghost. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Well, 
but she was she was like not to (laughs) not to belay the matter but let's go back to where the cock what has happened in now (laughs) did you see it did you see the ghost (laughs) did you see the cock into the pussy (laughs) no i did not (laughs) so this is a whole uh thing that I wasn't aware of. And I realize that I'm, uh, maybe I'm naive, but I, there are lots of things that I'm not aware of. And when I find out, I'm like, there's a thing for everybody. If you can think of it in your head, someone out there wants it and will pay money for it. But yep. I just, um, you know, I found that list of celebrities who say that they've slept with ghosts or had sex with ghosts or made love. I, mean, I was watching that ghosts. shit last night on travel. It was. It's a show. It's called Haunted Fame or Fame, fame Famously Haunted or some gay shit. And <laughs> it's like these people come on and like like Amber Rose was on there last night talking about because like she's like real sensitive to spirits. And then some guy was on there. And I want to say, is it like th- their ghost stories? Like celebrities? Yeah, it's, like, it's like all their ghostly experiences like that have happened. Celebrity hauntings. Them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. okay. I've watched a lot of those. Yep. And it's, I mean, it's some of the stories, like Amber Rose shit was pretty dope. Cause like I could, I don't know, like I can sense when, when people are like, I don't know, like I felt like her shit was the most realist out of everybody's story that was on there. Like everybody else shit just seemed like they were acting. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, actors, was, most of them. So it's like, yeah. And then one guy, okay, so I can't think of this guy's name. He's the he's the main, he's the white guy from um, uh, Porky's, uh, shit, Police Academy. He's the, the, the young white, the main character in that. So he was on there last night, and he was saying how he feels that, that actors, like people who um, are like famously actors and actresses, Ghosts want to be attracted to them. So when I heard that, I was like, "Yeah, I'm going to fuck to sleep because this shit just sounds real dumb." Now. Are you talking like, about Steve Are yes. you talking? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, Steve Gutenberg. I they, was like, they dug I can't him up from somewhere this. and dragged his ass out to tell a story. Yeah, maybe, I was maybe like, we can if we try really hard tonight, we can all like summon up the ghost of Prince to come fuck us or something oh, you know ooh, that uh-huh. would be nice you know ooh, prince well there's right, this thing right? is that you i want you marilyn c- monroe that's who and i they want. could be like <laughs> <laughs> why can't you you could have a threesome <laughs> have bring two. Oh, where my lights just went out i want oh God, i want marilyn monroe and betty is coming page. for you first <laughs> i hope so <laughs> Look, I'm calling Betty Page and Marilyn Monroe. If you guys hear me, Ooh, come fuck Betty, and fuck me. Betty Page was a crazy bitch, though. She, like, tried to kill... <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. She, yes, she, she had some issues. She did, but, but we um, still love her. I do still love yeah. her. But when I heard that story, I, I was I like, that's her. some crazy shit. Yeah. She, like... I think she, like, was on top of, like, an old lady, like, the landlady, where she lived, <laughs> trying to stab her. Yeah, but she, yeah, she was she psychotic. What, wasn't she she had like undiagnosed schizophrenia in her life yes yeah, she was she yeah. was in a state of psychosis when she did it so yeah i, I mean that. i guess a lot of uh killers are probably in a state of psychosis when they're doing the murder or whatever doing the murder <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm gonna make a show. It's gonna be called "Doing the Murder." Doing the murder. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for "Doing the Murder." Hey, do like you do murder? A good show. You do. <laughs> it's like making a murderer, but dumber. <laughs> Doing the murder, but you're talking to murderers, and them telling you exactly how they went about planning their murder. Yeah, that is actually how did, you, how did you do the murder, dude? The ones That's that aren't so getting f- out, anyways. So yeah, yeah, like what do they have to lose? lose? Yep. Well, did you watch um what is it called, Mine Hunter? Oh yeah, where they um about the, one, about, yeah, about the, the first, first serial killers. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yep. the guy, the first profilers. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. yeah, and they like coined the term serial killer. Like it didn't even exist before that. Yep. And um. <laughs> It has my one of my gay boyfriends, uh, really? Jonathan Groff, is like the main character, 
the young handsome guy nice but he um i thought it was really interesting because that serial killer he's in there and he just wants to like gab so he's just like oh yeah i'll tell you like every detail of everything about how i planned it why i did it uh a thought pops in my head about my mommy issues. I'm mean, I'm like, put me in there with them. I'll t- put me in, Coach. I'll take the risk. See, <laughs> that's what I hear. People want to know that shit. <laughs> they People do. No one to- wants to admit it, but it's fascinating. Yep. That's why yep. you know. And you know, I wish we yep. had like uh, some ethnic diversity here, so like a not white woman could say it. <laughs> Because that's the, you know, every time I say it, they're like, because you're a white woman and white women are sick and want to be murdered. And I'm like, no. I don't want to be murdered. Yeah, I don't I mean, either. I, I'm just fascinated by like tortured. psychological stuff, you Same. know. I don't want to be kidnapped. Same. I'm just saying if I'm the last one on the end of that centipede, I'm probably going to be a kid and I'm going to die first. I don't even want to be inconvenienced. But right. I want to hear about since exactly. you did and why. Why did you do yep. it? I think there are plenty of women in all different ethnicities. I think so too. We've just yeah. been like, you know, <laughs> tight They just don't talk about it like we do. It's like, oh, let's get some Starbucks or some wine and uh, sit around and watch you know, how to get away with murder. Yeah. Yep. 